Hello Virgos, this is weekly spread for you, week November 9th through November the 15th. Let's start with the home and family card. You have Ace of Cups. Actually, it's possibility that uh, will be given to you this week for some uh, possibility for renewal of some atmosphere or something that has to do with your home and family. How you will use these possibilities? This is the question, but it will be given to you. Love and relationships. The Emperor. Emperor, it's always structure, stability and authority of a man in your life. So, uh, for those who are currently coupled, it will be a man who will be ruling this week. Don't even try to go against him, because he can uh, be really tough if... Uh, <laughs> Uh, he has a lot of power, he is powerful, he likes to control things. If you are single and you have been single uh, lately, uh, probably this week is just uh, everything is as they are, stable. Because four it's always stability, It's uh, there is no development in this four. That's why it's stable. Uh, clarity, understanding of situation, um, it's not bad, it's just uh, nothing will happen actually. Work, knave of wands, <clears throat> it can be a lot of, uh, let's say, <clears throat> travels, trips, uh, walking, driving, uh, and it has to do with your work. It can be also a message that you're getting and this message um, asking you to move forward, to do something with this news, with this message. It's, it has to be positive news because Knave of Wands it's a positive news. It's uh, something that really uh, give us some information that, that we need, that we can use. If you <clears throat> looking for a job <clears throat> and you're getting some um, invitations, I would uh, take something more stable, more conservative, if we're talking about you have few possibilities, I would prefer something more conservative instead of something more that looks like, I don't know, adventure, uh, it, it looks interesting, it looks promising, I would prefer something more conservative. Uh, finances, Three of Swords, uh, but in this Three of Swords, in this deck, uh, it's not uh, hard that, uh, like, with the Three uh, Swords in this, it's just, they are tired, these Warriors, they are so tired of something, they are not sure that they can move uh, further, like, uh, they are ready to give up. So probably you will feel that some situation you, at the, in the, this week, you can't change it. It's like uh, you don't have, you don't feel the power to change the situation. You are a little bit tired of something, or maybe of your financial situation, maybe of some difficulties, maybe maybe some particular situation uh, with your finances is um, worrying you, and you don't see the way out of it. As advice, Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> it's actually a good advice because it's uh, your card, it's Mercury in your sign in Virgo. So be a more, be like you are, practical, reasonable, uh, really good thinker. You are good thinkers when it comes to some real practical doing. How to do it, how to manage it what it takes to do some things. Uh, so think more about, um, stay calm in the first place, think about material things, think about your financial situation, think more about your family if you have a family, because it's a family card as well. And an and anti-advice, Knight of Wands, uh, adventures, uh, Something that we uh, get fired, we getting some desire about something 
but we're not thinking so much about future at this particular moment. We just want this adventure. And this is an anti-advice. It's also long distance travel uh, in an in anti-advice, but you do what you please. Uh, I'm just telling what this card is talking about. And also for those of you who currently coupled, if you have some temptation, if you have some passion about someone, don't do anything this week. Don't do silly things. Stay in the family. Be very, um, I don't know, conservative. Stay conservative. Be faithful to your partner. Don't get in the, into this adventure. <clears throat> From Oracle of the Angels by Mario Dugway, you have a wonderful card, Faith. So, uh, and the meaning of this card is very simple. This beautiful young woman, it's a universe that leads the ship of our life because in the boat there is a small human being. It's us. <laughs> it's who we are. And a universe trying to move us to correct our way somehow and to correct it the uh, universe brings us some uh, people in our life uh, making some events in our life that is happening and sometimes we think that something that happened it's, it has been just mistake it, it shouldn't be it happened by mistake there is no mistakes in the universe there is no mistakes. Everything happening for some reason. And we just have to... Uh, if we don't understand at this moment why this happened, maybe we'll understand it later on. We just have to trust. We must have faith. Faith in God, in the universe, in the spirit. Whatever you believe in, there is something that is above us, that leading us, trying to help us to go, uh, to follow our own path, our own destiny. And they're sometimes making some corrections. And if we'll trust the uh, universe a little bit more, then we'll, uh, maybe they will give us some uh, understandings of why it happened like this and not in the different way so dear Virgos, you have a wonderful week i'm wishing you good luck and hope to see you next time bye